with our words. In a drawing we seek reflection, to see the maker's true affection, and through the eyes there is complete perfection. It all begins with a word collection. The writer will write a piece of complexion, but an artist will bring it through resurrection. While writers point the world in a direction, an artist captures the eye's attention. Now let's go to the reflection of your words. Hi, I'm Anwin, and I'm here to tell you about the reflection of your words. The Reflection of Your Words is a workshop running in art where all the students get the opportunity to illustrate poems written by our school's year 8 English students. Let's see what the English and art teachers think about this workshop. Now we're in the art department with Miss Seggy. Where did you get the inspiration for the Reflection of Your Words? Um, just talking to the art department, they said that every year group in Key Stage 3, so Year 7, Year 8 and Year 9, were doing poems on cultures, war and something that inspired them. It would be a really nice idea for the two departments to work together on this. Does, the po does illustration give poems true meaning? Um, yes, I think it makes it more eye-catching. I think it gives more meaning and a lot more understanding to the poems because I don't think they're an easy thing to read. Um, I think it makes them more readable. I think people would want to read them a lot more. It makes it more like a book rather than a poem. Thanks for your time. Okay. Thank you. Now we're going to see English Department with Miss Nickery. Hi, I'm Miss Nickery. I'm going to talk to you about the English Department with Miss Nickery. Have you seen any amazing poetry yet? Um, absolutely loads. We did a project on poetry, so they had a lot of inspiration, obviously, within there. Teachers obviously get really involved, and a lot of the pupils actually read poetry outside and, you know, have a lot of inspiration from that, so they really got on board. And obviously doing the illustrations upstairs is a brilliant idea as well, so, yeah, it's all very good. Where do the kids find all their inspiration for the poems? Um, a lot of them actually do read outside of um, school time, but a lot of them do, obviously, kind of within lessons, really get to grips with the poems that they're studying and take a lot of inspiration from there. So they seem to come out with some very, very good poetry, which has obviously been put into a book. Thank brilliant. you very much. We interviewed Laura Watton, who's an illustrator. We asked her, do you think it's a good idea to combine writing and illustrating to create something showing both parts? She replied, I definitely think it is best to combine writing and illustrating mainly because there are subtle differences that can be expressed with an image, despite also having words. For example, someone may say, I'm fine, in a story, but they could have a pained expression on their face, so the combination helps give a deeper impact to the recipient. I also think illustrations and words help convey ideas faster. A block of text is difficult to interpret particularly quickly, but using concepts art or even emojis can help immediately understand the main gist of thought. This is particularly important when making sure everyone viewing can understand the concept as best and as fast as possible. This includes language barriers, special needs and so on, so the combination aids as a socially inclusive function. And also, being an artist, do you think it's easier to illustrate something like a poem and to draw something purely with your imagination? She answered, I would say no, because you have to, one, listen to the poem, which visualises something in the imagination, Two, interpret the imagery inspired that comes into your head after listening to the poem. And three, put that down on paper. It is a translation process in the mind. This is what also happens when drawing something purely with imagination. Sometimes, but not always, the mind is inspired to draw by absorbing other creative ideas first, as well as just having ideas pop into your imagination from scratch. I think both processes are equally as easy or equally as hard as each other. If you want to find out more about Laura, go to pinkapplejam.co.uk. Thanks for watching the reflection of your words. Special thanks to the interviewees and to the camerawoman, Kessia Garcia.